So this Saturday we are in for a good domestic clash in the light heavyweight division as Joshua Boatsy takes on Craig Richards at the O2 Arena in London. For me, this fight is an interesting one because it's going to be about how well Joshua Boatsy can overcome an opponent who at least matches him in height and reach. Because the last time he fought someone, I guess you could say he's a big man in Kalic, he struggled and struggled pretty badly in spots. The way Buatsi struggled in that Kalic fight, for me, it wasn't really a surprise. And now I'm no Nostradamus, but I'd just never been over the moon with any one of Buatsi's performances. I had been keeping an eye on him from the Olympics because when he was an amateur, I always thought that he had a style that was better suited for professional boxing. But then when he turned over, I was keeping a close eye on his fights. And up until fairly recently, I didn't really think much of him. I just kind of saw a, a prospect who was big, strong, athletic, had decent punch technique. But like many prospects, didn't seem to have the professional level IQ to set up his shots. And he seemed to have a lack of defensive, uh, yeah, a lack of defensive responsibility, which was pretty much exposed in the Kalich fight. You see him, he's very upright at times. He's able to, have, as I say, have good punch technique, but you wouldn't really do much after the punch. You wouldn't be very proactive a lot of the time. He'd just return to the center line, which, of course, is a recipe for disaster a lot of the time. Um, but that's going into the details. To his credit, though, Boatsy did show great determination and finishing ability, which these things are just as valuable. So I don't want to seem as if um, I'm trying to convey that Boatsy's no good. He is good, clearly, because that was a tough fight. And it's not uncommon to see prospects, uh, I guess you could still call Boatsy a prospect, um, so a fighter of Boatsy's level, have that tough step-up fight and capitulate. It's happened many a time before. And he didn't. He bit down on his gum shield. He showed that determination. He showed the ability to finish Kalich. And for my money, he's actually gone on to show some very, very significant improvement in his last two fights against Dos Santos and Bolotnik. However, we do have to to note that Dos Santos really, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. but even looking at his record in the lead-up to the fight, you could see that he had no business whatsoever being in the ring with Joshua Boatsy. Um, and then there's the Bolotnik fight, which was another great performance, um, in my opinion, Boatsy's best performance to date. I think it was such it was a complete performance for me. Uh, he just needs to replicate it against a high level opposition. But that's to the side. Bolotnik has different dimensions, uses a bit more of a pressure orientated style than both Kalich and Richard. So I don't think that's going to be the truest representation of how Boatsy does in this fight against Richards. Now, <clears throat> I don't think uh, Richards is as offensive at long range as Kalic because I think he's a bit more defensively minded, but that in itself can make him quite difficult to pin down. Richards overall, I think is a very handy fighter. He's, um, when you look at him, you, you at first glance, you're like, wow, how's this guy where he is in boxing? Because he doesn't really do much, but it's because he's disciplined. He's very disciplined behind the long jab and he really doesn't give anything away. He I guess you could say that he doesn't have the most active guard. He could be a little bit more proactive. But <clears throat> you have to understand that he's got height and reach advantage over the majority of people that he's faced um, in his career thus far. And he, you know, he moves around the ring with great balance. And he just has this very consistent jab. It's not like a, a true power jab, but it's very, uh, very consistent, very true, very straight and very accurate. And so I feel like Richards, he has such good success with the jab a lot of the time that he doesn't really feel the need to, to land anything else. But I think maybe there's some mentality uh, or some mental aspects that we're going to address in a little bit later. But Richards overall, I think is a really good fighter. Uh, he's that disciplined behind the long jab. He can move around the ring very well. I don't think people uh, really give him credit for how good his balance is and his mobility and his fluidity as well. And as I say, this makes it quite difficult to fight him. But I think, and many people have pointed this out, it seems to be clear now that Richards does lack true spite. 
and his offense isn't the most sophisticated. And I feel like that's where maybe he falls short because he he struggles to stamp his authority in his fights. And yeah, sometimes he just doesn't have that edge to make you think, oh wow, like he's really um he's really taking this fight by the scruff of the neck. This isn't the best look when you're going in to fight with Boatsy, who can be very physical, very rough, and can be quite dirty as well. Like it's that was a criticism of Boatsy early in his career for those who weren't following too closely. He's very dirty. He's um you can you can tell that he's uh, been a fan of Andre Ward because he was very. Uh, I remember when Ward came to the UK in 2017, I believe, and Boatsy was there um, at one of the meet and greets that Ward did, and Boatsy was he was there not like a fan. I mean, I guess so, like a fan, but he was like trying to be mentored by uh, Andre Ward, and of course now works with Virgil Hunter, who very famously took Andre Ward all the way. To greatness and uh yeah but actually i think was i some people like hatman for his for example they make a good point about how um how that kind of that edge you know bending the rules a bit or sometimes actually just breaking the rules it shows your determination your will to win and i certainly understand that but it just does it's not very nice you know yeah box, boxing's a rough sport but you know there, there are still rules um but but actually very physical, very rough, but to be fair to him, he has proven that he can bite down and if he's being outboxed, if he's being pieced up, he will just bite down his gum shield and he'll get his man out of there. So that in itself is uh, commendable because it's within the rules. I think Richards is at his best when he's skirting the perimeter of the ring because he's able to do so, so well. And when he's moving, you know, around the ring, he's able to disguise his offense, mostly the jab, quite smoothly. You know, he'll rock back, he'll rock f forward, forward, back, forward, back, not by much, but then he just flicks that jab out and he he understands how to, dis how to disguise it very well, which is a skill in itself and it catches the opponent out. However, when he plants his feet and he's now stationary, for my money, Richard's just not, he's just not good enough when he's stationary. He, you know, he plants his feet, he lacks his active guard, and it's like all movement's gone. It's like the only way he can move effectively is with his feet. So I think he needs to keep that up in this fight. And then when he becomes stationary, if he opts to tra trade up close, his hooks can be very wild. And I think he's just, he, I don't think he's a natural hooker. Every now and then he'll get some, some pretty good hooks, but I think for the most part, he's a, he's a straight shot merchant. I think that's his game. Um, and you really can't afford to have these kind of loose winging hooks trading with someone with Buatsi, who's got much shorter, much tighter, neater, and more powerful shots up close. I think Richards, if he hopes to win this fight, he has to use his movement and keep the fight at long range. You know, that's very big brain stuff, you know, let me tell you. But he, he shouldn't worry about being too adventurous with his offense up close. He, I don't think he needs to you know, start trying to do his best Mike Tyson impression in front of Buatsi and look like some offensive dynamo or anything like that. He just needs to keep it simple, keep it disciplined, which he does do fairly well. But he needs to draw a line in the sand to prevent Buatsi from trying to rush him because as we know, Buatsi has that mentality where if he's if he senses that he's at a disadvantage, he will change it up and he will just, he will try and rush you simple as that he'll try and bore his way in maybe foul you um be very physical very rough and just look to hit you any way he can Boatsy himself uh, i think showed improved long-range boxing against Bolotniks, but it has to be noted that Bolotniks is obviously significantly shorter than richards and you have to imagine that that advantage that Boatsy potentially had against Bolotniks, he's not going to have against richards and even if he does it probably won't be to the same degree so for me, Joshua Boatsy's best bet is to really drag Richards into a close quarters brawl where he can impose his strength, his power, and dog Richards out of the fight. Because you have to consider that one of the main criticisms of Richards is his lack of tenacity. And it's not a good look when you're going up against someone like Boatsy who is 
pretty much known for his tenacity. So, um, yeah, I think this is going to be a rough fight um, at spots, especially when uh, Bawatsi gets into his rhythm and he gets close enough to Richards. So I just don't know how well Richards can stand up to Bawatsi because he is big, he is strong, he is powerful. I don't. Has anyone gone the distance with Bawatsi? I think he's gone the distance only twice. And, you know, he hasn't been fighting complete scrubs. He's been fighting some decent fighters for someone of, of his level. So, for that reason, I'm going to be going with Boatsi. I think he's going to get a stoppage in rounds eight, between eight and nine. But I do think he'll have some frustrating moments, probably early, where we see him lose his patience with Richards a little bit, maybe struggling to keep up with him, maybe just uh, a step behind at long range and probably eating some shots, especially some, some jabs. So, uh, yeah, I think he will get frustrated at points, but then I think he's going to turn it up and probably just um, throw caution to the wind a little bit and try and get Richards out of there. That, however, is just my opinion. Uh, hopefully it's a good fight, most importantly. Um, yeah, let's see how this one goes. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree, disagree? What do you make of my take of this fight? Leave it all down there below. I'll get back to you. Thanks for listening, and I'll catch you on the next video.